Good morning students. Today we are going to start our first chapter of science that is food. Where does it come from? So why do we need food? All living things need energy to do work and for growth and repair. They get this energy from the food. Our body uses this energy for doing work. So what are the different food varieties? We eat different varieties of food like rice, bread, vegetables, eggs, butter, sweets, cheese, etc. Next, what are the ingredients of food? So the materials needed to prepare any food item are called ingredients. Two or more than two ingredients are needed to prepare a dish. For example, to prepare boiled rice, rice and water are used. So, rice and water are the ingredients for boiled rice. Another example is atta or flour and water are the two ingredients required to make a chapati. Another example, vegetables, salt, water and spices are used in cooking vegetable curry. So, vegetables, salt, water and spices are ingredients of vegetable curry. So now the next question arises from where do we get these food materials? So means what are the sources of food? So the two main sources of food are plants and animals. So our first source is plant source. So the food which we get from plants. Rice, wheat, vegetables, fruits etc. are obtained from plant sources. We get these ingredients from certain parts of different plants. Some example of edible plant parts are shown in the image above their examples are given below. As you can see in this picture these are the different edible plant parts. So what are the edible parts? Edible parts means the eatable parts of a plant. So we will discuss these edible parts one by one. First is root. We eat root of radish, carrot, turnip, potato, sweet potato, beet, etc. Next is stem. In certain plants, the stem grows underground and store the food. Ginger, potato and onion are stems of plants in which food is stored. So, we eat stem of ginger, potato, onion, etc. Next is leaf, spinach, lettuce, trigonella, etc. We eat leaves of these plants. Next fruits, orange, grapes, kiwi, apple, etc. We eat fruits of these plants. Next are the oil seeds. Seeds of many plants are used to extract oil. For example, mustard oil is extracted from seeds of mustard plant. Similarly, sunflower oil, coconut oil, groundnut oil, soybean oil, etc. are obtained from seeds of respective plants. Next is sugar. We get sugar from sugar cane and beetroot. Next, tea and coffee. They are common beverages. Tea is obtained from leaves while coffee is obtained from seeds. Next is spices. They have no food value and are used for adding flavor to food. The major spices are pepper, cardamom, ginger, turmeric. Other spices are cloves, saffron, fennel, cumin, coriander, etc. So next is, next source is animal source. The food which we get from animals. We get milk, eggs, meat, honey, fish, etc. from animals. Buffaloes and cow give milk. Hen and duck give eggs. We get meat from goat, chicken, hen, etc. Eggs and meat are rich in protein. Fish is the major part of food for people living in the coastal regions. First is honey. Honey we produce is honey from nectar of flowers. It is rich in sugars, minerals and enzymes. Next are the autotrophs. 
so what are autotrophs the plants make their food themselves by the process of photosynthesis so they are called autotrophs next are heterotrophs what are heterotrophs animals including humans that do not make their food they eat foods prepared by plants so the heterotrophs are divided into following types on the basis of their food habits first heterotroph is herbivore what are herbivore animals the animals which eat only grass and plant products are called herbivores for example cow elephant camel deer goat etc next are carnivores animals the animals which eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores for example lion jackal frog tiger lizard snake etc next are omnivores the animals which eat both plants and meat are called omnivores for example crow monkey deer human sparrow etc all these are omnivores next are scavengers some animals which eat flesh of dead animals are called scavengers thank you student